Hey guys, how's it going? Alex K here. Welcome to lesson 4 of Sub Tokyo Lessons. Alright, so today I'm going to go over a request that someone left at a previous Sub Tokyo lesson. Um, someone requested that they want to learn some Japanese slang words. So I'm going to go over that today. Alright, so the Japanese language actually has like countless amounts of slang words. Um, so today I chose out four uh, big slang words that a lot of people, especially in the Tokyo area, use a lot. Alright, so the first uh, slang word that I'm going to be teaching you guys is Maji. Maji. Um, this word means seriously or for real. Um, so you would use it in a situation like, say your friend comes up to you and says, Hey guy, I'm going to Japan. You'll be like, Maji, seriously. So this is a word that you would use when you're surprised or want to confirm something. Like, let's take another example. Um, you're in school and someone comes up to you and says, Hey, you know that there's a test today, right? You'll be like, Maji, are you serious? I had no idea. You can also answer um, by saying Maji. When you're asked, are you serious, you can say, Maji, Maji, I'm, I'm serious. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice this word. Maji, here we go. Pretty simple. Maji. Maji. Dude, I'm going to Japan. Maji. Or, hey, there's a test today. Maji. Are you serious? Okay, the next um, slang word I want to teach you is actually really interesting. It's a half English word um, that was made I think in recent years. Um, it's the word dantotsu. Um, it's short for danzen toppu or top. It means um, simply number one or the best of best or if you want to take into consideration the meaning um, top meaning it means like way at the top. So yes, best of best or number one. Um, when something's in that position, you would say that's dantots, number one, dantots. Okay, like for example, let's say you're looking for a ramen restaurant in Tokyo. You ask someone like, hey, which restaurant is the best in Tokyo? They would say, oh, this ramen shop is dantots, number one. Dantots, dantots. Okay, so the next uh, word I want to show you guys is the word yabai. Yabai actually has um, two meanings. There's the actual meaning and the slang meaning. Um, the actual meaning is it's an adjective that denotes something bad or dangerous. So you would use it in a situation like, uh-oh, this isn't good, that sort of situation. Um, but its slang meaning is like sick or wicked when you use it as slang. So it means like, you know, awesome. So you would say like, that's yabai, like that's awesome, that's sick, that's wicked. Um, so yeah, yabai can mean um, bad um, or sick as in that way, uh, that meaning. Or you could, you could use it as slang and have it mean um, sick, wicked, awesome, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's practice this. Yabai. Yabai. Or, yabai, yabai. All right. So the last word I want to show you is mecha, mecha. Uh, this is a slang word that is used for emphasis, kind of like very or ultra. Um, when you say like that's ultra something, that's very something. Um, I think the closest is totally. When you say that's totally something, um, so you would use it like. When you say that's totally cool, you can say that's mecha cool or that's um, delicious, mecha delicious. I'll go over um, how to say those in another episode. But mecha is a word that is used for emphasis that's very something or that's totally something. Mecha, mecha, mecha cool. Alright, so those are the four words for today's slang lesson. Um, let's go over those again. Maji, Maji, Dantotsu, Dantotsu, Yabai, Yabai, and Mecha, Mecha. Okay, okay, time for our next section, um, our English Japanese words. Here we go. Um, today's English Japanese words, I have three of them for you. Um, they're kind of random, but okay, our first one is music, like headphone music. Um, music is pronounced 
music, music in Japanese.、Um, our second word is computer, computer, computer in Japanese. You say computer, computer. And our last one、um, is headphone, headphone. Headphone in Japanese is headphone, headphone. All right, say those again.、Um, music is music, computer, computer, and headphone, headphone. Okay, and our final section is our weekly kanji lesson. Our kanji for this week is this.、Uh, this is the kanji for moon. Uh, Japanese moon is tsuki, tsuki, or getsu, getsu. There's two ways to say it tsuki or getsu,、um, but you don't have to remember that.、Um, this means moon, but also means、uh, month.、Um, so whenever you see this、uh, character with a number in front of it, it means that month. So one moon would mean January, two moon would mean February,、um, and so on. Alright,、um, I would go on a field trip again, but it's actually raining outside, so、uh, I'm just gonna do、uh, this, show you this、um, magazine called Shonen Gangan. Some of you might be familiar.、Um, but this is,、uh, as you can see here, there's the moon symbol.、It's, this says the Gekkan, which means it's a monthly magazine. And、um, down here you see four moon. I don't know if you can actually see it. But f o r moon means it's April, April edition of Shonen Gangan. So, like this, you see that moon symbol a lot around.、Um, especially because it's you know, part of a date, when you say a date of something. Alright, so I know some of you asked for a little bit harder kanji. I know today's kanji was a little bit on the elementary side,、um, but I do want to play around with it,、um, bring in some more advanced ones later on. Um, but my main focus is to find kanji that you can you know, find as you live your daily life in Japan.、Um, granted, there are you know, plenty of kanji out there that you can find in Japan. So、um, I will jump around from advanced, intermediate, and beginner kanji in the future. So don't worry, I'm thinking about you guys too. Alright, that is it for this week.、Um, thanks for watching.、Um, this is the section that I always forget. To record, so I'm not gonna forget this time. I always have it in words, but、um, it'll be pretty cool to have some audience participation.、Um, I know everyone leaves some pretty awesome comments,、um, but if you can do some homework, maybe take a video of yourself practicing Japanese and stuff, it'll be cool. Make it a video response and you know,、uh, attach it to this video. I will automatically、um, make it a video, you know, approve the video response. So, yeah,、uh, do some of that,、um, and I'll be very happy if you do. Okay, guys, once again, thanks for watching. I'm Alex K. This was Sub Tokyo Lesson 4 on Japanese slang. Be sure to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on future Sub Tokyo episodes and also future lessons that we do.、Um, please leave comments and suggestions below on what you would like to see more on Sub Tokyo and these lessons also. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at SubTokyo Vlog. And make sure to check out our blog at、uh, subtokyo.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex K. This was SubTokyo. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.